sense because I don't know if this man could be stopped. It don't make no sense. It says white lives matter. I thought all lives matter. I thought it was black lives matter. <laughs> it's a phony. No, he's a phony. See, and see, basically what's going on here is Kanye West once again has got the media by his cojones. He's grabbing them real hard. They got big grapefruits and he got them in here. I got the whole world in my hand. That's Kanye West right now. He got a spot of clutches. But uh, look, he's hanging out with your favorite woman. She a baddie. What's her name? Candace Owens. Yeah, I got it tatted on my heart. Jesus, baby. Comment below that my co-host is a traitor, <laughs> and that he's basically the new Charleston White. But let's see what Boozy had to say about this. Kanye, you straight with me, right? But I, I he pissed me off this morning. Mm. He pissed me you off. You know what we didn't went through. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get on here, and you know. Mm. But you know what we done went through and what we still going to to this day. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. hey, everybody know people matter, mm -hmm. but but what we but 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 did, would that lives matter mm -hmm. when we promoting that? Mm -hmm. What we done been through, let us get our glory, man. Let us get our glory, man. Let us get our glory, man. Why you gotta make fun of Boosie like that? <laughs> Boosie's defense everybody. I know, real talk, Boosie defends everybody. Like, this is the one time that I'm actually on Boosie's side. Black Jesus agrees that I don't know why. Kanye needs to be stricken down. Sure, real talk, I'm so, like, do you realize every week we've been talking about either Kim Kardashian or Kanye West? It's the Kardashian effect. I told you guys about the clutches. Um, but uh, Charlemagne says that it's, you know, Kanye uh, seeks white approval. And whenever he's uh, doing good, you know, he always does crazy things like, uh, you know, wear the, the, the Trump hats or uh, the MAGA hats. Yeah, the MAGA hats or, uh, you know, act saying crazy statements. But then whenever he's in a disagreement with company, uh, company uh, like Adidas, he's like, they're hating on a black man. <laughs> this is what Charlemagne was saying. Horrible, horrible. And, you know, sometimes, you know, Charlemagne makes sense. True. So, I give you that sometimes Char Charlemagne does make Every sense. Every once in a while. And then when I wait, when I woke up and I saw this picture, like I really didn't make no mind because I was like, he gonna he gonna explain like exactly what's going on. Oh and, yeah, he did explain it. You want to get to that clip? Let's get to it. Oh, here we go. What um, did you want it to to express when you do the the white life matters t-shirts? You know. At a certain point, it felt like I saw white people wearing shirts that said Black Lives Matter, like they were doing me such a favor by having a T-shirt that reminded me that my life mattered, like I didn't already know that. So I thought it, I thought I returned the favor and let white people know that, hey, your life matters too. It's sort of like when random people will see the documentary and the documentary was, you know, the third chapter basically was saying, hey, we all love Kanye, but sometimes you got to turn the camera off on him. Meaning like, don't listen to everything. Yes, we know he's a genius, but feel free. <laughs> He's a genius. This is like a three minute clip. But I mean, I mean, within that one minute, I mean, I kind of understand what him saying that. What he was trying to do, yeah. But like, some things you should shouldn't do. Like some things you should just leave alone in the cabinet. Sometimes when you don't got milk in the cabinet, you don't gotta put cereal in a bowl of cereal. Just eat a drink. The, the milk's gone bad. We're talk every time I buy bread, it always goes bad. Like bread don't bread. Bread lasts like three days. <laughs> that means like if you get it, you basically have to plan that you're gonna have a meal with bread, or you're gonna throw it away. Exactly, it's probably going by so quick, and then like the inflation in the grocery store. But that's besides the point. Like I don't like. I mean, like I don't know what Kanye's, Kanye West is Kanye's trying to do. Kanye. Uh, is he trying to sell an album? Is he probably? Is, He's is trying he, to sell himself. Is he still? Is he still hurt from Kim Kardashian? You, think you know it. You know it. Little Skeet done got him. Hey, little, little Skeet, Skeet done skeeted in the left. Little Skeet over here on Call of Duty videos, and he over here trying to support white lives matter this is almost uh -huh. worse than floyd mayweather was like all oh, lives matter and then everybody slapped him remember that yeah i slapped him too i think i think <laughs> you held him and then i slapped him i got your hat I got your hat. And, then, and then jake paul took his hat oh uh, man but then besides the fact that he's doing this of course he got his little doppelganger his little robin on his coat on the right behind him talking about 
exposing Black Lives Matter. Oh, God. I thought Black Lives Matter. No. It's, but listen it, to Candace, Candace Owens, it was all a scam. Yeah. It's it's crazy because it's like, you know, it, it's a shame because it tarnished the name. Because it was a, a movement, but then the organization, that was a good movement. But then the organization was an organization that ripped people off. So it was like, and they have the same name. So it, when people say the name, they the first thing they're going to want to talk about is a ripoff organization. But people also want to talk about the movement. But it's a shame because that's how it always goes. You get someone ruins, ruins it for everyone. So they ruined the name, and it, it's hard to uh, to use it. In it. We just want to know where did all the money go. Where did it go? Oh, we got we got the video. Smiling. They collected eighty million dollars. Eighty million. Eighty million. Where eighty bees. Where's that money? Eighty it's million. It's here. Everything looks worse than it was. Where have you seen that money impacted throughout the city? Candace Owens be coming for blood. So my producer just sent me a link. It is just shocking to me because of how much money was raised to think that where he lived, the bills weren't being covered. Super frustrating, but that's a dead end. So, and here's where it gets really interesting. What? Ready for some BLM pride? Another 200K went to escorts, BDSM workers, strippers, peep show workers, phone sex operators, and webcam performers. And then hey, at man. that moment, it became personal. Whoa, and I thought, I know. not only am I going to say the truth, <laughs> I am going to scream the truth louder than you can scream the lies. Wow. See, man, Candace Owens be coming for blood. Like, she played no games. I once said that. That's incredible that the majority of the world hasn't seen this. Like uh, she's out, mean, she's debunking it. Like she has this. She has a video on the whole. Um, Black Lives the, Matter. Really the dude it was in Houston. I got his get a uh, the situation in Houston with with Stefan Jackson friend. That yeah. The, she like she debunked. She had videos about that. Like she's always coming for blood, and she's all, she's always trying to debunk everything. Yeah, and I don't I don't know what side she's on because sometimes I hear she talks about the other side too. So that's what's just so confusing. You know, uh, she was on the academic show. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, and uh, he had some real conversation with her, and it was uh, it was actually a decent episode because I I check him out on uh, Spotify. Exactly, and comment below. How do you feel about this, Doug? Do you feel that Candace Owens is just doing too much? She just needs to like just go be a housewife. No, she wants to be a newswife. Exactly. I mean, I don't know what's going on, but. Do you so with Kanye West explaining this whole situation? About, I still, you know you what? I hate Kanye. I've never liked him. I remember in yeah, high you, didn't, you didn't even listen to graduation. You I even, didn't listen to none of it because it was garbage. I didn't only listen to Kanye when he had the Chief Keef and he did the song "Hold My Liquor," which is Kanye West's best song that he ever made in his entire career. When, when he forced himself on, I don't like. And uh, he put everybody on it. That's his second best song. His two songs. No, he did three songs with Chief Keef. Those were the three best songs. That Kanye ever made. Besides that, I didn't care. Oh no, I'm a Kanye. I didn't care. He basically makes music for people that sell cars. Um, it I sounds made, like car. It smells like uh, car dealership music. <laughs> you know this. It, where I was coming from, it wasn't real street music. We were listening to Gucci and Waka Flocka. If you listen to Kanye, you were a bum. You were a preppy kid. You were wearing, uh, you know. Polos to school. Oh Lord! You know you weren't wearing the, oh, the Nike school. slides. Hold on. You weren't you weren't wearing Nike shorts. You weren't wearing Nike slides to school. Polos and cardigans, and khakis. You look like a, a cardigan kid. Like I came out of straight out of the Express. But uh, I mean, like with him saying this, I understand what he was trying to do. But once, like I said earlier, like it's just some things you shouldn't do. No, I just uh anytime any Kanye slander comes out, I personally love it. it be um because you know, I just never thought he was a good person and uh it's just fun to see him suffer. And I remember there was this uh it's funny to say, but there was a, a girl I dated back in the day that mm -hmm. was a huge Kanye fan before he went crazy. Oh, I remember and her. like went and like, you know, into, Talk about uh No, 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 you don't need to mention names. Um but um Roma. <laughs> Jesus. But uh, you know, it's crazy. I would like to ask her, what do you think of Kanye now? Is it the I, one do I know her? You've met her. The person I'm mentioning you've met. Oh, did you know speaking of met her, 
we went Warts Fest. What's it called? What's that thing that we went to? Warts. Warts Fest. Yeah, you know it's coming up. Yeah. It's like the first week of uh, November. Okay, we're going. We're going. Tales from the Crib is going to Warts Fest. I love it. We it's always have Bronfles, a good Texas. time. It's in the New Braunfels. We'll be there. Uh, we always run into people we know every <laughs> single time. So and we know you'll be out there. And McCall's loves the glizzies. That's why we're going. No, okay. I ain't no glizzy gobbler. The glizzy gobbler would be here. He's, and he's German. Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm accepted there. Because you love glizzies. No, I like the chicken legs. Oh, Lord. Those but... is nice. And then, you, yeah, they have, always have the best beer and the, really the best food. We joke, but you know, every all the food's good. All the food's good. But speaking of good, you know, it's even good getting paid. 